This tower is built to withstand a 90 mile per hour wind with a half inch ice on it. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't sway like most people think it does. It twists a little, but it doesn't <laughs> it sway. It doesn't sway, huh? No. Recently, I had the opportunity to visit the Texas Tech Wind Science and Engineering Research Center in Lubbock. Most days, the wind is friendly, but May 11, 1970, the wind turned deadly in Lubbock. A massive F5 tornado, the second one to hit Lubbock that night, was over a mile wide. It killed 26, injured over 1,500, destroyed or damaged 8,000 homes and 10,000 automobiles. The 1970 tornado scarred the landscape and the mindset of Lubbock, but it did something else. It started creative minds thinking and working together, sharing their knowledge, and 38 years later, they're still at it. Located at the old Reese Air Force Base just west of Lubbock, the center advertises itself as research, education, and public service for everything wind. On 67 acres, amid the prairie dog holes and grass, you'll find traffic signs, street lights, outdoor advertising signs, tall towers, and tornado-proof buildings. Each one an experiment in wind. These walls are filled with uh, concrete, half-inch rebar, and pea gravel, and the roof is uh, eight inches thick. Jeff Livingston is the field site manager. We have a building. We, we monitor wind pressures against the building. We have the reverse osmosis desalinization. We have a 200-meter tower that we have 10 levels of instrumentation that we can monitor any profile of wind event that comes in here. 